This morning we're waking up and we're gonna head back down into Gatlinburg. We want to do an Akista and we're gonna do some other stuff in Gatlinburg. Another trip down into town means that's another trip we have to take down the mountain from where our cabin is to get into Gatlinburg. These, the, the, the scenery here is just incredible. These panoramic shots of all the mountains all around us is amazing. And uh, I'm really gonna miss it when this trip comes to an end here in a few days. Like I said earlier, we wanted to check out Anakista today. We've never been here before, but supposedly there's like a whole city up here on the mountain and you gotta take these chairlifts up to get there. The objective for today, well obviously we've never been up to Anakista, so we're gonna ride these chairlifts up to get up here to the top of the mountain and check it out. And we'll walk all through it. And then we'll probably come back down into Gatlinburg and maybe go through a Ripley's or something like that. It should be a lot of fun. Oh, look at these chairs down here. That's cool. It's R2-D2 and Darth Vader. That's cool. That'd be a cool place to live right there. Yeah. I don't know though, cause you would have like hoodlums spitting and throwing stuff on your house all day and all night doing this. Oh, a car's gonna come right under us. <laughs> I don't get what this little station's here for. Maybe for an emergency get off? I guess. Still gonna get it. It says do Zip not. Zip again for half price. Oh, look at that chair up there shaking back and forth. Oh, goodness. Wow, that's big time. We have made it to the top of Anakista and the views from up here are just incredible. That is all of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, down there below us. The city's moving while we're up here on top of the mountain. And then the mountains there that's around it. Are, and then over here to the left, all you can see is mountains. It's just beautiful. Anakista was built just a few years ago now and in fact they're still doing construction out here and you can certainly still tell that it looks new and everything feels new and fresh and clean it's nice I like it up here we're gonna go up here and see what is in Vista Gardens it looks really pretty here's Bear Venture I guess it looks like a uh, like kitty treetop walk. And I know they have one for adults. We're gonna go down here in a little bit and walk through, but. Here is the Willow Man. I've seen pictures of this guy. It's kind of neat looking. It's like a tree trunk, a face and a body out of a tree trunk. It's kind of cool. Here's a heart you can look through. I guess it's a photo op with the heart behind you and the mountains everywhere. Good place to take a picture here. They definitely spent a lot of time building all of this. They put a lot into it. We're walking back here now so we can go climb up to the top of this observation tower here. We're gonna go up on Ana Vista Tower. We can go all the way up to the top. It's supposed to be one of the highest spots here in Gatlinburg when you get to the top. Wow, at 
the view. Now we're at the adult treetop skywalk. driving through there right now you can see as we look off the side here how high we actually are and uh, I don't know what it is height wise but I know they I read that this was one of the longest treetop skywalks we are pretty much done up here at Anakista now we're gonna go down and do the Road Runner, which is their mountain coaster and after that, uh, we're going to head back down on the chairlift and probably head to Ripley's, believe it or not. We've never been to the one here in Gatlinburg before. version. There's a giant Godzilla made out of parts. Sprockets and bolts and nuts and brake pads. A, a mannequin. And mannequin opens up revealing its heart inside cool. made out of tire rubber wow Lawrence made from peanut Jennifer Lawrence peanut art it's a genuine Fiji Island cannibal fort what they used to tear apart human skin, human flesh, to eat it. Headhunter's Gong, West African Cora Harp, Human Bone Flute, and Skull Drum, made from a human skull. In Tibet, household items, jaggers, daggers, jewelry, clothing, instruments are made from reverend ancestor bones. Contacts with bones allow the user to obtain the virtues of the deceased. What is in the trophy vault? A rare shrunken torso, too. With her breast hanging out and everything. And they cut off her arms. Right here. The finished shrunken head is placed near a fire to harden. The shrinking of heads was a humiliating thing to do to an enemy. It robbed them of a normal rebirth into the next life. Each shrunken head is a source of pride to the owner. A penis sheath? Worn as a decoration and protection, tribal men of Papua New Guinea wear these made of gores. The Denai tribe wears thin, elongated sheets, often decorated with paint, feathers, or in this case, cowrie shells. So they just wrap, they have, wear nothing and just wrap that over their penis and that's all they have on? Yeah. Edward Hager, the world's thinnest man, and it's a life-size, an actual sculpture of him. That's crazy. How did he live? Walter Hudson once recognized as the world's heaviest man at 1,400 pounds. Hudson spent 27 years inside of his bedroom and became famous when he fell in a doorway and it took eight firefighters three hours to rescue him. 
He eventually lost 600 pounds and opened a business selling clothes for extra large women. Jesus. The lighthouse man? Finding use for all. This man stuck a 7 inch candle in it and used it. Uses light to guide visitors around the dark city. Uh, vampire killing kit here. Horned man. Horned man skull, but there's no horn. The horns are missing. Real well, bad. horns were fake and were in fact just three inch wings, white skull twisted. How did he go on to his. Oh, and that's a skull, and you can see the glue marks up there. Yeah. So how did he open up his skull to glue wood spikes to them. I need, we need to look that up. How did he open up a skull to glue wood spikes to his skull without... But he glued it to a skull. You still got skin on top of your hair and all. The Walking Dead zombie jacket and face mask used in the popular television series. The jacket has been purposely distressed with fraying and fake blood. I don't remember that. I didn't watch it. From any of the show that I've seen. I didn't watch it. This movie props though. It's actual movie props. The genuine Mars rock. On October 3rd, 1962, a 40 pound meteorite fell in Zagami, Nigeria, 10 feet away from a farmer who was chasing cows from his cornfield. Once NASA recovered soil and rock samples from Mars, the origin of the mysterious meteorite was identified as a nine million old piece of the planet Mars. That's it right there. Olin fuel cell from a Soviet satellite. So it's a, it's a man-made meteorite. Man-made space debris. That's kind of neat. And you can go across this little tightrope thing here. like over the top of the next floor down just like walking across the top of them or a machine it moved it rocked forward yeah i'm getting off jasmine saddle pure jasmine Oh, that's his prison booking card. That's Charles Manson's prison booking card right there. Wow. I wonder how Ripley got a hold of that. Rupert, the British D-Day paradummy. Oh, that's interesting. In the early morning hours of June 6, 1944, there was a secret World War II mission called Operation Titanic. The Royal Air Force dropped thousands of stuffed burlap sacks this is one of them, over the French Atlantic close to confuse Germans into thinking that's where they were doing D-Day. Annie Oakley. Oh, it's, a, it's Annie Oakley's gun. It's Annie Oakley's track shot pistols. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Some more bloodletting do not open that trunk ancient Egyptian it's an actual mummy how crazy is that a mummified human hand ever want to see inside a real mummy well, I didn't think it was legal to like own so I wonder how Ripley has the gets the special This guy. John Dillinger Death Mask. NY Police, New York City Police Record Book. And John Dillinger's Death Mask right there. An invincibility belt and an Indian bridal headdress. Look, this is a coffin. From Africa. Somebody wanted to be buried in a Mercedes. Was this matches or something? Hogwarts Castle made out of whatever. It don't look like popsicle sticks though. It looks like I don't know. 
know, it's something different. It's Arbor School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, but it's matchstick marbles created by Patrick Acton. He made this out of matchsticks. How freaking creative you have to be to do that. And here's the magic hat from Harry Potter, fortune teller. Incubator, incubator thing here. In person? The incombustible man. Chimone, a circus sideshow exhibit has performed a human roast act withstanding temperatures up to 350 degrees. He would enter an oven with a raw leg of mutton and come out when the meat was well cooked. They have a piece of the Berlin Wall here. We must stop the killing. Something San Diego 87. Yeah. They have these like pieces of the Berlin Wall everywhere. I don't know how much of the Berlin Wall they say, but they're all over the place. The genuine piece of the Berlin Wall. A two-headed calf or a two-legged walking horse. A two-headed calf down there and a horse that didn't have two front, that was born without two front legs that was able to walk on his hind legs. Here's an eight-legged eight Siamese piglet, an albino blackbird up there, a three-legged rooster, and Siamese piglets there that conjoined. General George Custer's flag. It even has written in it, Edinburgh, September 11th, 1866. That's wild. Bootlegger's moonshine. Buffalo hunter's gear here. That's kind of neat. That is going to do it for Anakista and Ripley's Believe It or Not here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Tomorrow we're going to be over in Pigeon Forge and we got another museum we want to check out over there. So you can check that out tomorrow if you want to. Thank you all for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. If you're new here, go down, hit that subscribe button, then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. I just can't thank you all enough for watching. Please, all of you, stay safe and stay